That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million beings bred to adapt and labor in any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. And in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. I've been putting so much overtime. I didn't even know my son was fucking mad. I know. I, I can't remember the last time I got home before midnight. Mm. They work us like slaves around here. Oh, sorry. Ka Kathy? I'll see you later, Helen. Antoine. Antoine, is that you? Las tofaya trasta a hata es lifta tu hif. Le vata si tunga que lis nif guia. Prof ni vat, le que la sakil son solta. Se solta, salas lita tuya. En brico a quash. Morse las axas. Oh, what's that? 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 Oh,
Ich wasche den Elik. Was hast du denn? Was hast du denn? Oh, good morning, Captain. Oh. What is that? Uh, it's an oscillator. It's important for newcomer infants to receive an abundance of circular motion. It's good for the harmony of their being. Why is she harmonizing in my squad room? I'm sorry, but the babysitter didn't show, and Susan had already left for work. I, I didn't know what else to do. Well, look, I understand you've got family problems, but uh, this is no place for a child. <laughs> Hey, Cap. Hey, I don't owe you any money. Oh, come on. When the credits were rolling, your cheeks looked like Niagara Falls. Now, cough up 20. Come on. Niagara Falls? He was crying like a baby. I know about that. I wasn't crying. Right. Hey, what's with the kid? Uh, the sitter didn't show. Uh, why were you crying, Matthew? I wasn't! <laughs> I got some popcorn salt in my eye. And... <laughs> I don't understand. Me and Sykes, we went to see the love story last night at the movies. Gone with the Wind 2, returned to Tara. And I bet Sykes that he would cry like a baby. And he did. I didn't. Matthew, you and Beatrice were out on a date? No! Me with this hermit on a date? Are you kidding me? Hey, Sykes, I bet you can't remember last time you were on a real date. The hell I can't. It was, uh... Thank you very much. Uh... Well? Don't you have something better to do, Zepeta? Yeah. I think I'll go figure out how to spend my winnings. What? Matthew, in all the time I've known you, I, I can't ever remember you being on a date. Maybe you never got the touch. Hey, pal, I have the touch. No, I don't mean a way to get on with women. I mean a way to give and receive love. Well, watch. See, for us, the temples are the center where love is received and from which love flows. It's especially important for the young to feel and experience this love. Perhaps that's your problem. You never got enough of the touch or its human equivalent when you were a child. I got your touch. Sykes. Oh, hi, Kathy. Kathy, what's wrong? She wasn't making much sense. I never heard her like that before. She said it was important for both of us to be here. Maybe I should call the station again. George, you can't spend all day on the phone. Albert will take care of Vesna. He's her been on. Well, I'm her father. And the thought of her spending all day in a janitor's closet makes me rot under the collar. Uh, that's hot. Besides, she'll be on the spinner. She'll think it's the Ritz. She doesn't throw up. Well, no. I'm going to call. Wait, it will only take a second. Ah, quickie bar, you're mine. <clears throat> Whoa, that, that's the last quickie bar. Oh, well, I'm sorry, are you waiting for this? No, no, uh, I mean, uh, no. Good. I miss breakfast. You eat quickie bars for breakfast? Call me a health nut. You were waiting for this, weren't you? Well, uh, yeah, but... Uh, well, you don't look like the kind of guy who could pass up a quickie, so... Well, you don't have to do this. It... Well, junk food lovers are an endangered species. We should stick together. Besides, I kept the big half. She's fine. Yeah, she is. You know him on the ship? I cared for him. I worked in the nursery for a short while. His name is Andron. He's a very special child. He's very loving. After quarantine, I spent a lot of time searching for him. Finally, I was told that he died. They found him last night in a dumpster. No child was reported missing. We've located the mother. That's very strange. Why wouldn't a parent report their child missing? Uh, who's the woman? Child welfare. The boy looks frightened. He won't speak, he won't eat, and he recoils from the slightest touch. Andy? 
Oh, Andy. Mrs. Day? Yes, how's my boy? Well, mostly dirty. I'm Lorraine Clark. We spoke on the phone. Can I take him now? Excuse me, Mrs. Day. I'm Detective Francisco. And I'm Detective Sykes. Uh, police? Yeah. Did Andy get into trouble? Oh, no, ma'am. We'd just like to ask you a few questions, like, why didn't you report your boy as missing? I went to bed early last night. I didn't notice he was missing until this morning. I, I was just about to call the police when Miss Clark called me. What happened to Andron? I knew him before we landed. He injured his head when the ship came down. Crash trauma, they call it. He was so vibrant and so alive. He doesn't even know me now. I'm so sorry. Andy, let's go. Thank you. Mrs. Day, my name is Kathy Frankel. I want to work with Andy. I was very close with him on the ship, and I know that I can help him. I've seen all the experts. Thank you, no. But there have been terrific strides that medicine have made in this area. I've seen crash trauma patients. No. Andy is fine. Really? Thank you anyway. Nestis Enoch Trumps, you see the Tata. Rossi Nigma Mayflower. Tis Ion Slovak. Pa itzi baka strada. Cut me a baka. She's hungry. Oh, please, just feed her. Yes, I understand that you were sick, but you could have at least called to say that you weren't going to be here. I had to take Vesna to work. Sorry, I'm late. Then we'll just have to find someone else. Oh, the client wanted to see my marketing idea for Yak Bubblegum, and I came up with this wonderful idea, sort of a play on that, that old human song, Yakety Yak, Don't Smack Back. Oh, that's, that's, that's fun. Oh, here, Buck, let me feed her. Well, I don't think she's hungry. She won't take her bottle. We lost another sister. That's the sixth in three weeks. Can't we find anyone reliable? No, she's not hungry. She just needs to say hamtha. Denta se hamtha. George, you're not giving her the touch every hour? Oh, sorry. Maybe I can work at home for the next two days, but after that... I think we're going to have to put her in daycare. Daycare? No, Vesta needs to be with her family, not strangers. Well, who do you suggest stays home? Buck, this family needs two incomes. I'll make an appointment. Regak, here he comes. Andron, over here. Kathy, I know you care about Andy, but you followed him? I just felt I had to, and I was right. I know Andy's in trouble, and I know Regak is behind it. Miss Regak, did he force Andy into the car? No. Did he harm him in any way? Well, no. Well, then, Kathy, what is it that you want me to investigate? Matt, we're not talking about just any overseer. Regak was the chooser. I worked in the nursery. I gave these children love. 
Rigek would pick through the children and assign them their fates, where they would be sold, how they would live, and who would die. He took Andron from me on the ship, and he's got him now, and look what he's done to him. Please, Matt. There must be something we can do. I'm afraid Miss Frankel is mistaken. I don't know anyone named Regak. He was the overseer known as the Chooser. Still don't know who he is? I don't associate with overseers. Then why did Andy climb into his car yesterday after school? Kathy. My son comes home from school on a special bus. I've gone through all of this with Miss Clark. What are your findings? I'll be filing a favorable report. Mrs. Day was very cooperative, and what I found was a clean and positive environment for Andy. Then why is he acting like a walking vegetable? That is so cruel. When Andron was under my care on the ship, he was a healthy child. What is he now? A child who suffered an injury. I don't believe you. And I don't believe he was injured in the crash. Andy has been abused, and I think that we should have him tested. Wait a minute. This woman is following my son around like a lunatic, and I'm the one who's being accused? He is my son. And if you and your partner don't keep her away from him, I'm going to be filing some charges of my own. You're not going to just let her go. There has been no crime. You obviously care deeply for Andy. I wish I could give you more assurances. But based on my criteria, Andy's home is sound. But your criteria is made by humans to protect humans. Andron is a newcomer, and you don't understand him. Kathy, that's not fair. Tell me, Miss Clark, when you visited his home, was his meat car full of Jowa? Jowa? Was his nailet facing the rising moon? But it was a positive environment. George, please. I'll look past the MK, you fought. Thank you. We're trying. It's amazing. Reagan's been out of office eight years, and his hair is still not gray. Ronald Reagan, an amazing man. A president who put the family first in the first family. That's something we can all be proud of. I'm Mr. Eugene. You must be Mr. and Mrs. Francisco. Yes. Well, won't you let me show you our demonstrator? This is a scaled-down version of our sensory room, which is a loving nest to over 200 other happy tots. Now, I see from your family profile chart that you're looking for such an abode for little Cessna. Oh, uh, Cessna. What a beautiful name that is, too. Well, I think she'll love this sensory room. All of her needs, from nutrition to stimulation, are taken care of. Yes, this room was designed to give today's child, be they newcomer or human, everything it needs in today's world. A personal touch through technology. Uh, personal touch? Everything's computerized. The best 1996 has to offer. Each containment unit is sensory wired so the nurse on duty can monitor them all. Uh-oh. As you can see, this little baby has activated its dampness sensor. In mere moments, it would be dried, powdered, and back online. Now, that's a personal touch our competitors can't touch. Well, um, thank you very much for your time. Oh, well, leaving so soon? I was just about to demonstrate the automated formula pumps. It's quite impressive. Maybe some other time. This place reminds me of the ship. There's no place to house our little Cessna. <laughs> Jelly donuts with hot chocolate and bubblegum ice cream. Mm -hmm. A mere midnight snack. How about a double chili cheeseburger, pork rinds, and a triple thick shake? <laughs> no, no, no. Check this. Captain Crunch, chocolate milk, whipped cream with butterscotch topping, chased by root beer float, all before 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm impressed. Mm. Well, my mother was a nutritionist. <laughs> Excuse me, can we have some extra hot fudge, please? It's all good for you. 
Mm. All except for the banana. <laughs> you know, I, I'm really glad that we could have lunch today. I, um, I felt bad that there wasn't more that I could do for your friend. Yeah. She's taking it all pretty hard. Well, we can only imagine the hell they went through on that ship. Yeah, I've seen my partner relive some of it. Yeah. Well, it isn't easy, but Kathy's strong. You know, she was right. And we hardly know anything about their species, and especially in my line of work. Yeah, well, when you figure them out, let me in on it, okay? Well, come on, your partner's a newcomer. You're with him all day. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. let's put it this way. They're not exactly easy to understand. I'll tell you what, Sykes. Mm. You come over sometime, and you give me your insight into who they are, mm -hmm. and I will make you the best deep-fried macaroni and cheese hot dog pie that you've ever had. A pretty light dinner. I'm out for breakfast. All right, tell me, Sykes, how is the malt shop with Lori? I can it, Zepeda. Come on, did you use two straws or one? I don't sip and tell. Hey, George, how you doing? Cat okay, got your tongue? No. <laughs> What's wrong? I have trouble with a species that cares so little about the welfare of the children. Hey, I don't have all the answers, but you heard Lorraine. There's nothing we can do for Kathy. This isn't about Kathy. It's about Vesna. Daycare was a bust, huh? I'd as soon leave her in the janitor's closet all day. At least there she'd know she was loved. Hey, Romeo, I forgot to tell you, Mrs. Avery at Newcomer Affairs returned your call. I left a message on your desk. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, Lorraine's been lobbying hard at the city office to get daycare center started. You ought to talk to Grazer. Maybe you can start one here. Mrs. Avery, Matt Sykes. You sure? OK, thank you. What is it? Newcomer Affairs. Their records show Andy came out of the crash perfectly healthy. No indication he was ever hurt. Cries out for help, and I'm gorging on a powerful banana blitz. You should have seen it coming, George. Matt, we don't have all the facts. Hey, it's a lock. They found traces of this on a rag in the boys' room. Corcus. It has the same effect on newcomers that ether has on humans. They found this bottle in Kathy's apartment. The place looked like Dorothy's farm after she blew out of Kansas. She was headed somewhere fast. We're sympathetic to the situation, Mrs. Day. We want your boy found safe as well. Everything possible is being done. Oh, yes. An APB or whatever you call it. And your two very best detectives assigned to the case. Is there a problem here? I have a problem when the detective in charge is the suspect's boyfriend, yes. I'm not her boyfriend, lady. Well, whomever she is, she has kidnapped my son. Kidnapping? You sure it wasn't a rescue mission? Sykes. How dare you say that? Well, then maybe you can tell us why the Bureau of Newcomer Affairs said Andy was released from quarantine with a clean bill of health. There was no record of severe crash trauma. Their records are inaccurate, and you know it. I am not on trial here. Are you going to let them talk to me that way? Mrs. Day, please. Oh, well, maybe the commissioner would object. Hold it. Please, let's just settle down here. Go home. Try to be patient. Uh, I promise we'll keep you posted. We're doing everything we can. And you, both keep digging. Oh, we'll keep digging, Captain. You can count on it. Oh! Stupidity. Stunas Krisansun. Equil Taipete. Emose Dregna. Ee! Masata 
Eve Toe, I, I didn't tell you about the Franco woman because I didn't think it was serious. The police, the kidnapping, I had no idea. No idea? The destiny of the Chosen's at stake and you had no idea? Given the circumstances, it, maybe the boy isn't worth the risk. I selected him once, he should be with us again. And if you hadn't let him escape during the ceremony, we wouldn't be in the situation we are now. But there are others, sir. And all of them are necessary. They must all, we, must all be the sum total of a united race. Andro Ness, a tetlachet a tinside. I've invested too much time in him to forget about him now. But here on Earth, we must adjust our plan. We're not the force we were on the ship. Does this mean nothing to you? Have you forgotten already? Gone soft without stiffening dragging at your feet each day? I have not forgotten. We are the Chosen. And forever will be. What are you drawing? Can I see? And the... Antron? Do you remember me? The ship was a bad place, I know. But you and I... It was special. Please, Antron, let me see what you've drawn. Nasus Vot, Antron. Nasus Vot. Baka. Jelana, Nantika Flash is far. But let's keep it there. Sela, Karasfari. Madnacht, Stunales Torpep, Votu to Lanos for men.
I guess Lorraine finds guys that cry at movies irresistible. <laughs> but without that sense of loving, without proper attention from family, our little ones will suffer, both human and newcomer. I'm sorry, Francisco. My decision's final. No daycare in the precinct. But there are many officers here with young children. Don't you care about their morale? Uh, daycare would bolster their attitudes, their performances. Would it? Uh, what about the police calls missed while they're off cooing junior? Our job is to serve the public, not strain peas. Uh, but, Captain, think of all of the extra hours the officers would be willing to work knowing their child is safe virtually at arm's length. Safe? This is a police squad room, Francisco. Look, my wife and I may be childless, but I can still sympathize with your dilemma. George, I, I just don't have the solution for it. Neither do I. Yeah, great. Okay, thanks, Pison. No daycare, huh? You okay? It's not me I'm worried about. Oh, hi, Matt. You got a minute? Lori, hi. Hi, George. Oh, um, thanks. I just found out something very interesting. Yeah, I just hit gold myself. Been doing some digging on this Mrs. Day. Get this, she's on a payroll of a holding company owned by Marty Graw. Marty Graw? That's his earth name. On the newcomer ship, he was known as Rigak. She works for the Chooser? Well, maybe this helps or maybe it doesn't, but I, I just found out that when Andy was released from quarantine, he wasn't released to his natural mother. Day isn't his real mother? George, how could that be? With the intricate tissue typing, that should have been impossible. Well, it's possible his real parents are out there somewhere. I've been trying to track him down. Sykes, line two. Later. Sykes, it's Kathy. Tracy. Yeah. Kathy. Hello, Matt. Kathy, where are you? I called to tell you that we're safe. <laughs> Listen to me. Do yourself a favor and come in now. No. Damn it, I mean it. Kathy, look, we're talking felony here. I can help you, but only if you come in now. I can't do that. I don't know why, but they've done terrible things to Andron here and on the ship. We're going to nail Rigak and Mrs. Day. We're making headway. They won't get away you with... You can't them. promise that. Then you're going to have to trust me. I do trust you. But as long as you can't promise, Andron's in danger, and I won't take that risk. Kathy, please. <laughs> and not until I find the Andron I once knew. Kathy, where are you? I won't be anywhere long. Goodbye, Matt. Kathy, don't... Got it. How long must we sweep this gutter? Until we find the child. May I help you? Only Dregna sleep in this dump. Look familiar? Room 21. No! No! I, I... I remember you. Kakat Vada, attend on me, Akatsu!
Bring them both. Police, which room? Room 21. With the others. Others? What's it mean, George? George? Look, it's simple, Peisman. The witness got all but the last three digits of the plate. MX5, a silver sedan. Run it through the computer, please. Well, then cancel your coffee break. Take the donut out of your face, because the guy driving the car kidnapped somebody I give a damn about, got it? Oh. Pretty spooky stuff. This poor kid. Couldn't have been very happy when he drew this. What is that they're putting on his head? It seems to be a metallic band covering his temples. George, didn't you say the temples were some sort of love center or something? It is where newcomers receive love. Why would they want to cover that? I don't know. Hi, any word? No. I might have something. In trying to locate Andy's real parents, I found 20 other newcomer children in the same situation as Andy. Not with their natural parents. Exactly. I contacted the other parents, and they all think that their children died in the crash. And these parents just blindly accepted that their kids were killed? Given our personal rights at the time, Matthew, we were hardly in any position to question the authorities. Susan and I were lucky to be reunited with Buck. Laura, you got any of the names of those adoptive parents you turned up? Yeah, a bunch. Matt? Well, well, well. Not only are they all adoptive parents, they're also on the payroll of Rigax Holding Company. Zep, find out what this holding company owns. I'm on it. Rigax, the chooser, he's behind all of this. But what does an overseer want with these children? What if he is continuing his mission, like, like Odessa? Time out, George. After their defeat in World War II, the most militant surviving Nazis, particularly the SS, regrouped, planned, orchestrated the survival of the Nazi party. The race. That is what the temple bands are for. By denying them love, he is turning them into monsters. He's turning them into overseers. Andron will not become one of you. You cannot prevent it. This is not the ship. You are no longer Cleason Soon. We'll always be Cleason Soon. Whether it takes one year or a thousand years to be rescued from this planet, we'll always be strong, united, superior ones. You will not succeed. Tregna, stop us. I won't let you destroy Andron. Pregner are such children. We controlled your thought, your very existence. But the one thing you couldn't control was our love. Your love is your weakness. Our resistance to it is what makes us strong. Andron will demonstrate that. Five different possibilities from Piesman. Yeah, we don't have the manpower to check all those plates. Matt. What do you see, George? There's a pattern in these sketches of Andy's. The child is torn from someone close to him. Fixed with some kind of temple guard. Isolated, as if being prepared or brainwashed. Or some type of sacrificial ceremony. What do these markings on the sacrifice mean? They are taking these symbols for love. Right, the, the, the kid kills love? Or kills the one he loves to become Clisanso. They're gonna make Andy kill Kathy. Hey, Sykes, 
Regax Holding Company, mostly real estate. You know, the new malls down on Catalina, the Regent Hotel downtown, office building. Whoa, whoa. The Regent Hotel. Yeah. Bullseye. We got a vehicle registered to the Regent Hotel. Let's move. Express lease. Theater as lesser. Last the S gas, less lease. Which fire? This is Kick Weed Ross. This is Blood Cross. This is Pig Cross. For years, you are loved. The chosen shall let his actions speak. The Tiak will be a vote. Pim Karthak. Vot Pim Juta. Pim Susta. Vot Pim Susta. You are the chosen. Fulfill your birthright. Now, son. Uh, Francisco. Yes, Captain. Look, about your uh, daycare idea. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could clear out the weight room, get some stuffed animals or something. On a trial basis, Francisco. Of course, of course. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Nagi Vat. Ruff Bois. Would you like a moment with him? Hello, Andy. Nasnevat isansola tibla. So ghoul, so sus, lota tuia. Andron? Andron, are you ready to go?